Hey everyone, welcome to chapter 5 of Northgard. We're the clan of the wolf this time. Rick says, land ho, draw your axes and something. I didn't read in time because I was too busy doing the intro. Oh, we're brown this time. Alright boys, it's plundering time. Charge! Oh no, we're not brown. This is the clan of the raven. We're attacking them. There, this area is now under our control. Warriors, we are here to ferret out that scum, Hagen, and slay him. I shall have my revenge. As much as I love a good brawl, we should probably maintain the element of surprise until a decisive strike. We'll claim their buildings, but making more is out of the question. Wars are won by leveling cities, not building them. Well, I see your point, but... <laughs> Should we not at least ask the villagers to repair those buildings before they burn out entirely? I guess it wouldn't hurt, as long as I'm not the one doing the fixing. I'm better at wrecking stuff anyway. <laughs> Plus, I've got the munchies. Let's go find some grub where it is. In the wild, wolves are tasty if they don't eat you first. I love Agil. <laughs> He's awesome. Clan of Finrear. Okay, uh, I, I can read that later. Right now, we need to fix these buildings. We're the clan of the wolf, right? So we're going to be attacking a lot. So I'm going to do the weaponsmith upgrade first. Oh, I have more more stuff. Okay, you know what? I'll just get... I'll get sharp axes and I'll get colonization as well. There we go. Whoa, I'm a Thane? Oh my god, this is different. Your berserker can colonize cleared zones for free? I guess the berserker is like a war chief or something. Okay, first things first. We need a woodcutter. We need a scout. Apparently I already have six warriors. I'll get a sailor as well. So let, let's go through my warband. Where are they? Yeah, let's get them all lined up right here. So let's see, I have Egil. Egil. Let's get him over here. Oh, what's happening? We should colonize this area. There are some sheep there. We could slaughter them for food and get a nice boost from it. Okay, yeah, we should. But let me let me look at Egil first. So let's see, let's look at you. Yeah, looking good. So I have him, I have two warriors, I have two shield bearers. Right? Where's my other one? There he is. And two axe throwers. So I've got a, uh, diverse, I've got a diverse, uh, warband. Let's go colonize. Yeah, oh my god, look at those axe throwers throwing the axes. There we go, colonize. The sheep will be good for food. I should probably get another sailor or two actually no I'll just I'll do one for now and this guy can go to the forge actually no not yet because I don't have any iron oh I'm about to though and I'm gonna need a healer as well all right let's sacrifice these sheep this is gonna give us a lot of food what's in here some more sheep yes I'm gonna get myself another scout and search these ruins right here because that'll be good for wood and crowns there's another area right here no sheep this time. I can't even colonize it. It's not exploitable. My objectives are to find and kill Hagen before he gets reinforcements. So that's what this thing is. Mercenaries will land on your coast soon. Can I even claim this zone? I don't see a colonized thing. No, I can't. So that's pretty much useless. Alright, let's upgrade my war band. Let's do my warriors. Building unavailable in this chapter. Oh, this is different. Right, it is different because I'm not allowed to build, and there, that I don't, there might not be any food zones. I, I think I just have to live off sheep in this one. Oh, uh, there's more drower here. I mean, I'll, I'll kill him because I got nothing better to do. Oh, is this Hagen? Hmm, been a while since I heard from the outpost up north. I don't like it one bit. Liv, make yourself useful for once. Put together a party of mercenaries to check it out. <laughs> you live is just speechless. You deaf front, get a move on. Damn, Hagen. Very well, master. So there's a search party coming. So Hagen is all the way down here. This scout over here is going to be useless to me since I can't go over there. So I'll have him go to this ruins while this one just goes and colonizes stuff. I only need one woodcutter for firewood. That's it. Sailors, I don't think I need any crowns, so I'm gonna cancel this stop raid So when they come back around one of them will be sailing just so I can get some crowns and the other will be a villager I don't need any lore masters, so he will go be a villager 
I'll keep the smith, and I'll keep the miner, so I can upgrade some stuff. There's some wolves in here, and normally I would colonize it, but I can't go this way, and I don't get any sheep in this, so I will not be colonizing that zone. And there's a blue zone here. Who's blue? I don't think I've seen blue before. This outpost isn't worth it. My axes are itching to strike, but it's probably better to stay clear of it and remain unnoticed for now. That's another clan of the Raven. But yeah, it's pretty much worthless and I just end up damaging my guys. Let's see, when you decolonize a zone, your units gain 30% health. Nah, that's decolonizing. I might get military strategy. This mine is depleted now, so I can't destroy it. It's okay, he will just become a villager. So I get, get some food, and I can forge one more thing, and that'll be uh, weapons for the axe thrower. There's a wolf den, probably not worth it. But it's four wolves or a bear, and wolves are easier. But then again, the bear won't respawn. The bear has 80 health, and the wolves have 50. And there's four wolves, so that's altogether 200 health. But the bear has more defense. I'll just send my guys in the wolf area. The mercenary search party will arrive in 24 months, two years. That'll be enough time. I mean, I'm already close to Hagen. I've got another scout on the way as well. I've got one more zone to scout, and then I'll be able to kill Hagen. He might run away again. Oh no, he can't because there's a cliff right here. This is this is to the death, Hagen. Oh my god. This is a lot of fighting. That defense tower is doing some serious damage. Yeah, I'll be fine. I only lost one guy. There you go. Now I've got to decolonize this zone. Oh, you know what I should have got? I should have got the uh, decolonized one. This plunder, because whenever I decolonize a zone, my units gain 30% uh, health back. I'm going to lose a shield bearer and a warrior in this next fight. I should probably get some more, some more units. Yes. Come to me, my babies. Yes, they're on the way to war. Wait, why'd they stop? This zone is decolonized, but <laughs> this fight is gonna be a lot harder. All right, here we go. I've got, I've maxed out my war band. All of them are upgraded down here. <laughs> a lot of them ha have lost a bunch of health on the way here, but let's go attack. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know about this. There we go! I just killed him! What's the cutscene? Well, 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 we meet again, Crow. Told you I wouldn't let it go. Like the obedient hound you are, let me talk to your master. I have a proposition to make. I am here, Hagen. Nothing you say can possibly- Okay, that went by too fast. Live, my dear apprentice. Help me. Kill these men. <laughs> Not going to happen, Hagen. You've been bested, and I won't be on the losing side if I can help it. At least show some dignity. Ooh, did you see that? Liv, you despicable traitorous. You owe me everything. I made you what you are. You're wrong. I did. You were but a stepping stone. Oh, damn. Curse you, Liv. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that was cold, even by my standards. You just took away my sole opportunity to avenge my father, Ego, in her. With pleasure. <laughs> Wait! I knew you would be upset, my lord, but hear me out. Hagen was a pathetic fool, but he was not the real menace. Go on. Let me pledge my allegiance to you, and I will reveal your true enemy. There is much I have to tell you. Nice, we just got Liv as a... as an ally now. Sweet. Well, this was a short episode compared to the last one. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it.